Hello everyone, my name is Little Glitch, and welcome to some more Grand Cross content. Um, it's just something simple and easy I can go ahead and create for you guys, so I just wanted to go ahead and record this video for y'all. So, I did a few summons and I've gotten the Demon Lord Rimuru. Definitely a really good character. In my uh, uh, sometimes can be a bit too busted for right now, but that's just how it is, you know? But I really do like this character. I actually, quite um, coincidence enough, um, I actually was watching this anime. And then as soon as I, I was like halfway through, I was like, oh yeah, I haven't played Grand Cross in a while. Let's go and log in. It's like, oh yeah, let's go ahead and update the game. And I get into the update and I'm all like, wait, that character looks familiar. Oh my, <laughs> you know, just doing the collab with that. But... <clears throat> I'm gonna do some PvP matches here. I'm trying to do what I can to at least get the Platinum. Um, it may be difficult, but we gotta do what we gotta do. I am right now at gold three, and I've just been kind of grinding out these characters. Um, I'll show you the gear that I have on Rimuru um, at the end of these matches here. Okay, so from the looks of it, we got the Witch, Meliodas, and that. So I might as well just go ahead and get some good damage in with that. Might as well deal some damage to another AoE maybe. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just go full AoE. AoE. We used to window down some people's HP. And then disable their recovery right there. Alrighty, using the purify. Definitely does seem to be a threat, maybe. I mean, King is a really good threat. But my passive is active. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm take care of that first. Then I'll do that, and that should kill her. And then afterwards, I'm just gonna go ahead and kill Meliodas with this. Iko, Shastifur! I actually have like a lot <laughs> of the damage that you can all do. So that right there was pretty insane for a level one. Oh, it's Merlin. Okay. So if I play my cards right, I might be able to beat her this turn. King is a threat, I can tell you that for sure. But I'm just gonna do that, do that, and do that. Hopefully, this can get rid of that. <laughs> yeah, this, there is no way she was gonna survive that. <laughs> That was pretty good. I have been doing a few matches also in Ungeared 2 as well, just, just to really see how characters fare just on their own. And to be honest, it's quite nice, but I want to see the high damage and actually see what my gears are benefiting for my characters. King is the next character I'm going to start leveling up a lot more when it comes to his gears. All these gears is maxed out, but none of them are engraved. And a few of them actually are not even built correctly. So I am going to have to fix that. So I guess I'm just going to go for the double shield right there. And then I'm just going to try to kill Margaret. 
of this. I mean, like, I don't think, I don't think this is gonna kill Margaret, but it's at least something. I got double shield, so it's gonna be hard for me to bust it open. Oh! Okay, that, that just kills Margaret. Okay. Fair and balance, fair and balance. That's what it is. Zeldris, alrighty. Alrighty, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go full AoE for this. I'll double that. And there we go. He survives for the next turn. He's also a challenge too, so I have to be very careful. All I gotta do is just survive this, and there we go. But those debuffs are gonna be very okay. really bad because he just attacked me with his and he's kinda dead. <laughs> Surprisingly, didn't use the counter one. That actually might have helped him out more. But I have my own Zeldris, so. What I'm going to do is very simple. I'm going to attempt to kill you with Reinvert's attack right there. And then I'm just going to do double AoE. I think that's going to happen. I think, I think, uh, I think that's how it works. Only needed to use one. <laughs> I have experimented with other combinations though, is then like switching out um King for um Sigurd. Um especially when I get Sigurd's like holy relic, just because of the um just the insane amount of attack buffs you get with using Sigurd and just how powerful Sigurd is in general. I mean, like, mine's 6'6", six, six, so of course he's powerful. It's just insane. The only problem, though, with running Sigurd is that if I go up against a Rimuru, I have to, I'm forced to kill Rimuru first because Rimuru, like, removes, a, removes any buffs that I have or one buff for the beginning of the turn. And the extort ability is what's needed for that. So what I'm going to do for this turn here, actually, is I'm just going to go on the full offensive and just attempt to kill Rimuru, because as soon as I kill Rimuru, everything changes. There we go. But I was not having any chances with that, but he's the last character. Alright, it's Bon. So Bon's going to be trouble. And so is that combination between King and Diane. Having the HP buffs along with King and Shield and then Diane's spawn. Like, like, that's just quite a bit to deal with. But for me, I have a Shield Buster right here. Which is Meliodas. And it has three attack buffs, so we're good. And then, let's go ahead and kill King. So I'll do that, and then I think I'll do this. And this way, this is how we can recover. And next turn we got him. Yep, definitely got a nice turn here. So it's gonna, be, it's gonna be nice, fun, the whole family.
Yeah. Okay, so I don't kill. The next turn he does die, though. I do have ultimate and bonds. Yeah. But that definitely is not going to be enough to kill. So, we can activate ult. Then that, and then this should be game. This is definitely game. If this is if this isn't game, he will die at the start of the turn. This is okay. That's game. That was still surprising, though. That other level one did 190,000 damage. All right, so we got two more. And then afterwards, then I'll show off the gears that I have for my characters. Or at least show off the characters in general. Because so far, this is my most powerful team. I'm also surprised that Rimuru is also this powerful too, although my Rimuru is only 2-6. Oh my, okay. So we got Trader Melly. Might as well get rid of the Trader Melly. We start off with that, and then we're gonna do that. I'm going that off of here. And here's your third character. If you hear that moving around, that's just my dog. <laughs> Alright, so we have a Tom. Okay. I might just go full AoE there. Just because that's just gonna benefit me a lot more. So we're just gonna do that. There we go, this should work. Definitely not going to be surviving. It doesn't even matter. It really doesn't. Maybe with the break my shield, but you cannot kill me at all. So, he's dead. She's dead. And then we're just going to finish off with that. Cause he's dead, yeah. That's just no way, there's no way of that. <laughs> Alrighty, so we have one more battle left to go and we are in gold level two, so. <coughs> This is going to be nice, it is going to be very, very nice. But, we're getting closer and closer to Platinum, which means that the character is going to be a bit more difficult. Let's see what kind of team, or let's see what kind of CC we're facing against. Because as long as I'm still able to go first, we still should be good. Rimuru and King. Okay. So King is not going to be an issue, but Rimuru is. Okay. 
Oh, his room does not go up at all. That was very weak. And he's got the bond as well. Well, my, mo my next option here is going to be the Kill King, because once Moe's activated... Yeah, it's gonna be gone. It's a running joke that my buddies and I do. Um, since King is all like, Moe's... And there's this, uh, restaurant that we have. That's just called Moe's. It's a pretty own place. It's really good. But that's the running joke. Okay, so definitely the target king here. Trying to bust his shield. I'm gonna do that. And then I'll just have to do that. Oh, yeah! So we'll just see what happens. Definitely. <laughs> Yeah, Meliodas is gonna bring the pain. Alright, Meli. Destroy. Alrighty, so we're out of we're out of plays. I mean, I do have two of those um, um scroll things. I think that replenishes the stuff for it, but that's fine. Anywho, let's go ahead and look at the heroes here real quick and. Let me show you what we all have here. So I have these cosmetics here for him. I haven't really changed it too much just because I do like the original outfit for him pretty well. So that's just how I feel about that. And then, like I said, he's only 2-6. So the fact that he is somewhat this powerful even at 2-6 is quite insane. And this is his gears. So yes, I, I, I kind of got him up to full engrave. And these were the stats that I pulled for this. So that was just quite insane. And although I should make this one a level three attack, I just have it as crit chance just because with the piercing and then the crit damage I'm getting from these ones here, I might as well just give them a little bit of crit chance at least somewhere. These ones here I still have to clean up a little bit and get those raised up a bit higher, but I actually have no more anvils, so I really can't like mess around with it. And this one's looking a bit better, but that other one I really have to change around. And then his HP here is also looking pretty good. Um, anything that is above, or at least 2.5 and above is more of my approval. And I think this is the one I have to change a little bit. Okay, no, I don't have to change this one too much of it at all. I just have to really get these other ones up. And I am running it where I think it's one of them each has the life steal on it, which I really don't need. I'd rather just have that also be HP, but, you know, just for the amount of damage I am going to be doing, um, at least being able to heal myself one way or another is going to be very nice. But that's pretty much it for the Rimuru. And go ahead and looking at King. My battery life is dying. This is what I was saying. None of his stuff is engraved and I gotta fix that because this really isn't doing well. That one's good. I think it's his, his attack I gotta change. Yeah, I'm gonna change one of those to attack and just leave one of them as the crit damage. Or make them all attack, actually. He doesn't need the crit damage at all, nor the piercing. He just needs full-on attack so he can do more damage with his moves. And then I think these ones here, yeah, these ones here I gotta fix up. Just because 
The only reason why I have those there is just because those were just high rolls that I pulled for it. So that's basically it for that. And then for Melly, I do have all of those cosmetics. I do have all those weapons, all of those there. But when it comes to his equipment, this is what I have. And I'm trying to change that to attack, not to crit damage. But we'll go ahead and fix that in a little bit. And then all of those are actually pretty good. But I am going to change one of them to a full-on attack, just so he only has the two crit damage. And just way more attack power. I forgot to show off my King's cosmetics. But that's just all I got for him on there. And last but not least, his Zeldris. My 6-6 six, six Zeldris I pulled in just two banners. <laughs> and then for him, only have one of those up like that, which I'm gonna change the crit damage on that so that's a lot higher. I think I need to fix that too as well. Yeah, definitely. The attack, can, I think I can keep, but um, I know that um, he does focus more on the crit damage in general. So I also might get rid of the, the defense ones, as in for defense buff, and then change him out for crit damage buff for it, because that's just what he mainly works with. So I might as well fix that around. Eventually I will, but who knows. Other than that, that's basically it. That's my team. This is just how it is. Just showing off PvP, and I hope you guys enjoy that. But with that said, without further ado, my name is Little McGlitch, and I'm signing out. Hope you all have hope you all have a fantastic night, and I'll see you in the next dimension.